वेलकम टू सिग्मा सॉल्वर गाइज बिफोर आई स्टार्ट द वीडियो आई वॉन्ट यू गाइज टू स्मैश द लाइक बटन दिस हेल्प्स द यूट्यूब एल्गोरिदम एंड कीप्स मी मोटिवेटेड एंड इफ यू आर न्यू हियर देन सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर एडू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन टेक्स्चर एनालिसिस विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ आवर कंप्यूटर विजन एंड इमेज प्रोसेसिंग मॉड्यूल्स so let's read the problem statement first so that we get a good understanding of what the question is asking so compute the local binary pattern lbp corresponding to the following image segment show the complete process also give its corresponding ri lbp and this is the image that we are given image kernel so like let's talk about what is the question asking so there are many statistical and structural methods that are used in texture analysis basically we have also discussed uh, morphological operations that are used in texture analysis so you can check out that and lbp is quite different from them because local binary pattern as the name suggests changes the technique of analysis in textures so the observation that we are going to consider is basically more focused on the local neighborhood of a particular pixel so let's say it puts more focus on the local texture around each region so that's how it is defined and like this allows to basically gather information about micro texture comparisons and how they will help us in segmenting the regions and related stuff so when it comes to like segmentation on a quite borderline levels where the differences are quite minimal so then we use local binary pattern and ri lbp that is rotation invariant local binary pattern so that's was the introduction to it now we come to the steps that are involved in calculating lbp measure so for each pixel p first we create an 8 bit number i'll tell you like how we will be creating this number and the digits of that number are shown here like b1 b2 b3 up to b8 and the ith digit can be defined as below so where bi is equal to 0 if the neighbor of i has value less than two p's values and one otherwise what it means basically is if we have a pixel and the neighborhood of that pixel has a value that is less than the pixel value in consideration then we will put 0 for the pixel that is bi so if we consider it again so what i said is bi is 0 if neighbor i has value less than p's value and if it has equal to or greater values then we have 1 it will be the first part of how we calculate lbp now we come to the second part which is convert this 8 bit string into integers since the 8 bit string will come in binary format so we need to convert the binary into decimal so that we get the integer perfect now we come to the third step which is represent the texture in the image or a region by histogram or these numbers this step is not that much used but the first two steps would be enough for us to solve the problem but when we are dealing with visualization and um, trying to figure out whether the two images texture are same or not then representing by histogram can help us basically define that like we are done with what is the definition of lbp and how we can find it out let's take a small example to see how that works so suppose this is an image kernel this is not the image kernel that we are supposed to do in the question but i have just taken it to illustrate the concept so like here you see the values are written so the values as you know can be from 0 to 255 so all these values are given and in the center we have 51 so as the definition says that all the values that are basically greater than or equal to will have one and those values that are having less value so it will be zero so you can see i have numbered the cells from 1 to 8 and uh, the center is like what we are considering so it is not numbered any so we will be considering eight surrounding pixels so then what we have is the first pixel is greater than 51 so it will be 1 okay the second pixel is also greater so again 1 similarly for all the pixels it will be 1 where it is greater or equal to 
but the last two pixels you see it is either less right both of them they are less so it is zero so if we convert this decimal number sorry this binary number into decimal then we get 252 right so this is how we calculate the lbp of any given image perfect now we come to the next part which is the concept of dimensionality so concept of dimensionality basically comes from the fact that lbp can be transformed from a rectangular shape into something more circular right so suppose we are using three cross three neighborhood to describe the lbp patterns so what we can do is compare the three cross three rectangular region into a circular region as i said that when we count in the circular part of uh, dimensionality we get more angles to calculate from so in that case circular region will suggest a 360 degree of dimensionality and we can let's say take 45 degree for the increment steps and basically divide the entire 360 degree into eight regions right so i'll show you how that we will be going to do that so if we come down we see that we have this entire 360 degree right and inside this 360 degree you see i have just made the outer circles at exactly 45 degree angles from each so the angle that they will point to the center will be 45 so this is what i was i am telling so let's just for now erase this part and we'll stick to the 360 only okay so this is how we divide the entire 360 degrees into eight regions and now we will see how dimensionality is going to work so using the previous example let's say we got this particular matrix you see we have i have just replaced the 100 with 1 101 with 1 and so on like i will replace 40 with 0 and 50 with 0 because they are less than 51 so if we go down we see that in here this two will be zeros and the other all will be one right because they are greater than or equal to 51 so similarly what we can do is we can represent that in the previous diagram so then it will look like this so let's suppose that i have used one for black and zero for white so then we have this particular outline for the lbp representation okay so that is how you represent that in a dimensional perspective like if we you are displaying the lbp of a given image in 360 degrees then it will be like this perfect now we come to the next part which is like how do we have first calculated what is lbp now we see how lbp operator works like it has to operate over another image so that we get the result right so suppose this is the neighborhood of the grayscale image that we will be studying and this is different from what we had discussed just now so like here three seven two eight two three five one and the center pixel is four so what we are going to do is first we create the binary code as we discussed above like those values which are greater than or equal to will have one as you see and other values have zero so the center part is just denoting four so it is not a number right so we are having the binary code for greater than one and below you see we have an input image this is the image that we will be putting our lbp operator on so you see we have all the values except the center value so we have 1 2 4 128 64 32 16 and 8 so we will what we will do is just use component wise multiplication this is very important we will be using component wise multiplication to perform the lbp operation so in that case we will multiply this two with this one right then what we can do is once we do that i'll change my pen i will multiply this 128 with this one so that's another part then we will multiply this 16 with this one like all the ones will get multiplied to their corresponding um, matrix positions in the input image so then we get this particular matrix right 
and once we get this we can just sum all the values that are there except uh, like all others will be zero because if we multiply zero with eight it becomes zero so all other values are zero we can just simply add on to all the values that are present in this matrix and that will be our lbp so that's how lbp operator works i hope this is now clear to you and once we are sorted with this we will move to the next part which is ri lbp so ri lbp stands for rotationally invariant lbp so what do you mean by rotationally invariant so i'll just tell you a simple thing that when we are analyzing textures in an image their rotation plays an important role so if the same image is rotated by say 45 degrees then the analysis can change so we need to have such operator or such descriptor that is staying invariant or staying uh, i would say not getting affected by the rotation angle of the image so whatever be the rotation angle of the image if the image is same the descriptor will give the same value so then that is why we have this rotationally invariant lbp in actual scenarios as well when uh, people do um, texture analysis they heavily depend on ri lbp rather than lbp itself so because lbp might change or the histogram representations if you have seen they change when we change the rotation angle of an image so lbp is preferably not used and ri lbp is used instead so in order to make lbp rotationally invariant because we have learnt lbp so far the value is left shifted left shifting is an operation that is quite feasible or computationally inexpensive in computers and we will do that until we get a minimum value for our lbp so for that i have just use a simple example so you see this is the uh, actual um, i would say the actual image that we have right lbp and what we are doing is we are just left rotating so you see this zero will go away and you see that zero is added here similarly now this zero will go away and that zero is added here similarly it will go until we get the maximum number of zeros towards the most significant bit once we get there then we are assured that okay this is the um, what do you say this is the actual ri lbp that we are looking for and the best way to note that is basically you can use the dimensionality figures also to um, rotate it and check and uh, you can use the digits way also whichever you feel like so once that is done so we have understood ri lbp as well now we can come back to the actual um, problem that we are discuss, uh, discussing today so if we see the first part that is calculating lbp so what we can do is simply we are able to calculate that for 90 because it is the center pixel so 100 is greater than so we have 1 45 is less so 0 60 is less so 0 10 is less 0 250 is greater so 1 0 is obviously 0 and 50 is also 0 125 is greater so we will assign it like this and using this particular pathway as we have been defining so far we will calculate the lbp so you see 1000 1001 so that's how we will calculate and this is coming out to be 137 when we transform the binary code into decimal so we get 137 now as i know that ri lbp is going to be the minimum of all the lbps so obviously we can check that the value that we get after our left rotations has to be less than 137 right or equal to 137 so if we do that so first thing what we did is the first left rotation so this one will go here right so if we bring that one here then you see that three zeros are in front and then we have 10011 so that comes out to be 19 in decimal and what i'll suggest is when you are doing left rotation try to create the maximum number of zeros towards the left hand side right max zeros so that's how you can be assured that okay this is 
now the place where I need to stop the left rotation and this is the basically RI LBP part. So that's how you calculate the RI LBP and uh, similarly you can represent this in the uh, dimensional forms in the matrix form as you like. So that was it. If you still have any doubts then feel free to reach out in the comment section below and if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. Till then happy solving. Hey there, before you go, I've got some fantastic content lined up for you. Over here, we've got some videos and playlists you might enjoy. But first, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.